Yo, what's going on, Cowboys fans? Hey, I finally got a stabilizer. I'm hands free. Uh, I feel good doing this video um, because I can legit just drive, talk, give my thoughts, and really not worry about uh, my arm getting tired and all of these good things and all these goofy things. So quick update, quick update. I'm doing a mock draft tonight. Gonna get home and work on that as soon as possible. But I wanted to speak to you all um, while I'm out and about right now about the issue of Jason Garrett, play calling, all of those things, the Pro Bowl, Tony Romo, all of this stuff. As the Super Bowl is amongst us, um, you know, you're, you're seeing people interview, you're seeing, you know, different, let's just say speculation come out about Who's going to be calling plays? Who's doing what? This, that, and the third. Guys, I've told you guys, number one, I said that Jason Garrett, you know, we kind of owed him. And, you know, I know you guys want to get rid of the clapper. And, well, this team, if the most that we'll get is to the playoffs, then he's not a good coach. And this, that, and the third. Guys. Titles don't matter. That's going to be the title of this video. Titles don't matter. Kellen Moore being the OC, if anything, he'll have some input on design, but make no mistake, this is Jason Garrett's offense. Um, I think that game day play calling even really won't matter because Jason Garrett, he's a Princeton guy, right? I don't think that people understand how meticulous he'll be and how he'll have it set up to where he won't really let Kellen Moore make many of those decisions, especially game day. He'll have everything thought out to where it's like, if it's a short yard of situation, we're going to go. You have like these two plays that you can call from. So I know that we're getting excited and we've seen the, the John Gruden, you know, the, the, the John Gruden, quarterback camp and Kellen Moore he got up on the board and 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 all of these things and it's like oh bet we finally are able now to get the the creativity that we want don't get too excited guys simply because again I don't think that there will be a lot of I don't think there will be a lot of change more or less um, and I don't think that there will be a lot of creativity because there just hasn't been. And we got to understand that as a head coach, when you're a head coach of a team, your imprint is on the team, period. What you like to do, you know, your sayings, your mottos. That's why we say now, and it's so funny, but we say now Garrett guys, or we say now, well, he sounds like Garrett. They're not going to give you anything. Exactly. This is Jason Garrett's team. So I think Cowboys fans are, are we got to just pump our brakes. The draft is going to tell you a lot about what Dallas will do offensively. So what I mean by that is if Dallas trades up for, let's say, a TJ Hawkinson, one of my favorite players, by the way, in this draft, mock draft coming tonight, guys. If Dallas trades up for a TJ Hawkinson, right? Okay, maybe the tight end will have more influence as far as um, maybe the tight end will have more influence and will run more uh, uh, two tight end personnel, 12 personnel, um, and you'll see a look more or less of that last Giants game where, you know, the reports are that Jason Garrett did have more influence, right? Um, let's say that we draft which I want to, especially in the first, you know, in the second and third round, one of these two rounds, a real scat change of pace running back who not only, guys, I know you guys don't want to hear that, but who not only can give us change of pace, right, but who can check off some other boxes. Maybe he can play some slot. Maybe he can, you know, maybe he can do some things um, as, a, as a punt returner, but you know, we don't know what's going to happen with Cole Beasley, but we need more electric players on the field, all right? We're not drafting a true X receiver or a true outside receiver, maybe in this draft. And I want to give Cedric Wilson a chance. I think that he can be a good player. So I don't think that we'll draft a receiver, period. So why not get a running back who can run the ball, who can do some things in the return game, and then be a passing threat as well. Now you can do some things formation-wise. Then I'll say, hmm, 
maybe Kellen Moore will have a real imprint. But guys, titles, Kellen Moore being the offensive coordinator, we got to understand, Jason Garrett is an offensive coach. Like, that's his mainstay. That's what he prides himself on. He prides himself on offense. I told you guys, there were reports that if the Cowboys would have fired Jason Garrett, he would have been a head coach. So, you guys, I'm telling you now, if just because he's not the, the offensive coordinator, he's still going to have his hand on plays being called. Tony Romo came out and said, and I kind of was like, I don't know why this is news to everyone because, again, Tony, Garrett, whoever, we, we've been with this guy for a while. He's going to try and within all of his might to make everything work. Let's say that we go interior lineman, right? Let's say the Cowboys go interior lineman. Well, then you know, okay, don't expect much change, all right, because the personnel will really be the same. It's really going to be, you know, Zeke 24 times, Amari Cooper, eight attempts, eight targets there. Maybe that slot position won't be as necessary now that, like, there's only a certain amount of attempts. I only want Dak. We only really want Dak throwing the ball, what, 30 times? So with Dak throwing the ball 30 times, don't expect there to be, you know, 30, 35 times. Don't expect there to be just a lot more, more or less. Where I would differ, and again, this has my, been my argument, is I now want to see a change of pace and a, and a more explosive change of pace back up running back um for when Zeke's legs are just flat out shot give a guy give the ball to some look at look at those look at those New England running backs every time they test the ball they just look fresh they look fresh now neither one of those guys are better than Zeke absolutely not but when they touch the ball they come in James White hits the whole hard boom Sony Michelle hits the whole hard boom I mean Burkhead I mean so guys I'm just saying, and you guys get in the comments and let me know what you guys think, but, you know, like it, love it, or hate it, this is Jason Garrett's offense. No matter who the offensive coordinator is, don't look at the Pro Bowl and look at all that stuff. You know, we're, we're, we're stuck with Garrett. And, you know, I, I love that he was able to get this team to the playoffs. I think that you'll see some offensive change, but I don't think you'll see much. All right, Cowboys fans, your boy Fist the King. Gonna work on my mock draft tonight, doing some more stuff with Joe Rod, draft-wise. You guys get ready for this draft. You guys know that's where I'll be transitioning the channel to, doing player breakdowns, doing draft stuff. All right, y'all, I got my new toy, so I'll be talking to y'all more on the road. All right, peace.